Number 16, write the mathematical expression for the reaction quotient, which is QC for each of the following reactions. And then we have this one over here. So we have to find the QC for N2 gas plus 3H2 gas, which comes to equilibrium with 2 NH3 gas. Okay, so the QC formula is a very generalized formula. It could be seen as this right here. I'm just going to put this over here. Beautiful. And the QC, the C stands for concentration values, aka molarities, and the way that we write that in standard notation are these brackets. So anytime that you're going to see brackets, that means you need molarity values. But the QC value is just simply products divided by reactants. So this side divided by this side. But there's a catch, not really a catch, but there are rules. Remember, if you're using the QC formula, only aqueous and gas values are allowed. So let's just run through it. Look at those states first. I got a gas, I got a gas, and I have a gas. All of these are allowed. So I'm just going to give checks for these. There's no state that is not allowed in this formula, right, into the QC. So check for this, and then these two reactants we're going to check. Now we're ready to write the formula. QC equals, I'm going to put my little sign ready just to kind of get it all nice and now let's go from top to bottom so products to reactants this is the product side I have only one product so I'm just gonna put a bracket I'm gonna say what the product is NH3 close the bracket and now I just have to raise the value to its coefficient what was the coefficient of NH3 well there was a 2 in front of here so I have to raise it to the second. It's as easy as that. Since there's only one product, I'm done with this side. Now let's go to this side. Let's go from left to right. Really doesn't matter which one you start with. I just love going from you know left to right. So I got N2. So I'm going to do the bracket, put N2, close the bracket. And now how many? Well, there was nothing in front of here. That means that there was one, right? So I could write, you know, it was raised to the first, but... Anything raised to the first is the same number, so you don't have to write that. And now I have another reactant, and just know that these are multiplied by each other. So even though there's an addition sign here, it is not this plus this. They are times by each other, aka I could just put the next bracket next door. The compound or, or the molecule is H2, close the bracket. Now there's a 3 in front of there's a 3, right? That's the coefficient, so I have to put a 3. So when we start doing the math, whatever the H2 concentration was, I have to cube it, basically. But we'll get there. We'll get there in time. This is your final answer, and that's it. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Let me know in the comments. Really love talking to you guys, see how you guys are doing in your classes. And yeah, good luck on your future test quizzes. Good luck on your homeworks. All right, and let's just keep it going. All right. Um, yeah, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.